Hey guys, this week I'll be briefly talking about course registration and my first impressions of classes here at Hanyang now that I've been attending classes for about three weeks now. About a month from orientation, Hanyang will send an email about course registration with a very informative document. It is pretty straightforward, includes everything you need to know on how to register and navigate their website. Since I'm in no means confident in my Korean, I opted for lectures only taught in English. From what I remember, Half of the classes taken needs to be major related while abroad. As an information systems major, I didn't really have a wide variety of course selection, especially as a junior, I've already taken a decent amount of Drexel equivalent courses. As you guys may already know, the courses taken here at Hanyang needs to match up with the Drexel equivalent. So once I've made a list of courses that I wanted to take for the respective term, I waited for the registration date designated for exchange students. We were given about a 11 to 13 hour time frame to register for classes. Unlike Drexel, where we're given a couple of weeks of open registration, we only had a couple hours. It was definitely a pretty stressful course registration and you cannot slack if you're aiming for specific courses for your major. But let me emphasize how intense Hanyang's registration was. Classes were literally filled up within 10 seconds of registration opening. If you couldn't get into the classes you wanted, you had two more chances to try again. The first time slot is for exchange students, where only a couple of seats were actually open. So for example, if there were a total of 35 seats, only three seats would be open for grabs. So statistically, the odds weren't great during the exchange student round. The next open time ticket was for everyone in your academic year or grade. A lot more seats were open this round, but there were, there were still some restrictions as you can only register for classes in your major or grade. The last time ticket before the semester starts is basically a free-for-all where all students, exchange and domestic, fight it out for the remaining courses. Luckily, I got all my courses at the end of the third round, but it was definitely bleak when I only had two out of four classes enrolled by the second round. For the less fortunate, you will have to get a paper and receive professor's signatures to get into the course. As for my impression of classes, I have to say that most of my professors seem knowledgeable, flexible, and understanding. Their English was good, although some professors were not too confident in their pronunciation. Surprisingly, it seems that their teachings are pretty much based on American readings. Maybe it isn't that surprising since my programming and insecurity courses are computer-based and the content was originated slash founded here. Same thing with my business courses, although they do go over the differences between American and Korean perspectives on topics. For pretty much each of my classes, I have to do group projects. Normally, I wouldn't be that excited for the opportunity, but I find that it was a good way to make some friends. Especially since all of my classes were primarily made up of exchange students, it felt less awkward. For my one class, where it was mostly domestic students, the professor made the effort to put exchange students with one another so, so it, would it would be more comfortable for us, which I really appreciate. My classes in general have been taught at a slower pace than Drexel, but that makes sense since Drexel has 10 week terms, while here we have about an extra month of classes. Something negative I do have to mention is that the Wi-Fi at Hanyang isn't really consistent. Some places have better connection than others, and I have the unfortunate luck of being taught in a classroom with no Wi-Fi for three hours. In cases like this, I would recommend downloading the notes ahead of time to follow along and any other material required for the lesson that day. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but if you are hoping to skip classes to travel and explore Korea, it is strongly ill-advised. At Hanyang, they have a very strict attendance policy. In general, if you miss more than 20% of classes, you pretty much fail the course. This is a university-wide policy, something that professors have no control over. This is why if you're trying to make the most of your travels, I would recommend trying to make your schedule so that you have a three-day weekend or only traveling during the weekends. Anyways, this has gone long enough, so thanks for listening. Uh, see you guys next time.